is on. Okay. This is uh this would have been um John Candy's 70th birthday. So we're saying hello to John Candy. We love John Candy. He's a national treasure. Yes, in Canada. And everywhere else. Hello everyone. Welcome to the shit show number 17, I guess, with my lovely sidekick and wife Steph. Why do I not even see you? There she is. Miss America, well, not Miss America, Miss Canada. Not Miss. Miss Teen Moose Drop? <laughs> show me your t shirt. I'll have to. This will be a little. I don't know if you can. Show me where go. Yeah, you can't really. Oh. You can't see. You can't really. It's John Candy. It's Johnny. If you move over this way, John yeah. Candy. There we go. Johnny LaRue. Johnny LaRue. So this is. Thank you, Krista. Uh, many years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for making that. Hi, Steph, says uh, Jean. Anita is watching. Oh. Happy Halloween. We're not really doing a Halloween-themed um, show at this point. I mean, I don't know. All I can think of is the Monster Mash and things like that. Oh, I was are... thinking of Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, yeah. That's a little... It's a little advanced. A little advanced, yeah. Oh, I'm stuck in the 60s, I guess. I don't know. Um, so, I mean, uh, I think the last time my son went to, Henry went to, um, on Halloween, was uh, Oot, went Oot, so I'm learning to speak this way, Oot, um, he went as Tin Tin. And nobody, <laughs> absolutely nobody knew who he was. Uh -huh. He had his hair kind of up. The people know who Tim Tim is, you know, and uh, like a camel coat and a white shirt with a blue sweater, and just went around Bryn Mawr in Minneapolis, and people were like, I don't know who this guy is. Kid's supposed to be, but he's cute. <laughs> um, I remember going as uh, Colonel Sanders one year. Just carried a big buck around and wore a white suit. What is Elvis? I'm sure a lot of people have gone as Elvis. I don't know what you guys have gone as over the over the years. If I did it again, I guess I'd try to be into a Johnny LaRue or some sort of John Candy character. That would be amazing. But uh, what was his name in uh, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles? Da um, is that with a D? Uh, not Daryl, but um, no. Del Griffith. Del Griffith. Yeah. Del Griffith. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> going the wrong direction. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's drunk. Yeah, yeah. How would he know where we're going? How do you know where we're going? Okay. What are we starting off with, Gary? Lord? I'm going to start with an oldie that was, as usual, I have too much material. So this is a uh, old. Uh, this was a request. We're doing some requests, do a little Canadian content, mm -hmm. and we'll we'll look at uh, whatever. Uh, I still have, can't figure out Euphoria. Did somebody just ask for Euphoria? But it's very obscure. Oh, Whitefish, Montana. I'm skiing there one day. Whitefish. We want to go fishing right there. And fishing. Yeah, um, Euphoria is a very obscure. Uh, 60s band, late 60s, I think. Country rock, but it was also kind of baroque string parts and very bizarre stuff, but very hard to find. But um, anyway, this is a song off the out of the town hall record called Settle Down the Brain. <laughs> So I kept my fingers crossed 
wish you would. I wish you... <laughs> well, what did we say last week that there wasn't enough of my guitar in the picture? Like, it was too... Let's see. It, it, it looks fine. It's nice, though. That's back. Well, it's, it's backlighting. Is that bad? I uh, don't know, this is okay. Just, uh, you know, if it shows my wrinkles. Uh, so my hair doesn't look that gray today. It just seems like it looks less gray than when I was in Woodstock. I think Woodstock. it's different in pictures. I think I'm, uh, I think maybe it's, it's, it's that Grecian formula. We'll get you some frosted tips. Water and lemon. Mm -hmm. So I've been reading up on, uh, stuff brought me, you know, the definitive well, this is what's Canadian canceled. history books. Mm -hmm. So I could catch up, so. This one is, is pretty much it's thick. all you need to know about Canada right here. Um, yeah. So I'll be reading that. Uh, mm -hmm. um, what else? Yeah, maybe Liam will come down and say hi. To yeah, we uh, had our first, uh, I met her, one of her, her other sons, my stepsons. Yeah. Uh, Liam and Quinn. Quinn. Quinn I had met, but Liam I never had. And uh, so he's around. Maybe he'll come down. Say hello to Henry if he's around. I see uh, Dave Arnold tuning in again. Hi, Dave Arnold. Still working on piano songs, Dave. Close. It's just, I mean, I could do it, but it's. Uh, I'd rather really play really a little good. bit more and get a little bit better at it. But it's all coming back. Um, I'm going to play a song I wrote for Steph. Oh. If you wanted to, uh, you asked it here, and I just have to find. Hi, Holly. Holly Hannon. You know Holly Hannon? I do. From great since grade five. Steph has all these friends from kindergarten. I have my oldest friend, I would say, uh, age wise for life, life wise, is Mark Perlman. Yeah. I've known him since, you know mid 80s and that's I, as far as somebody i see you know i remember certain friends from kindergarten marty witherall and tom schoen um, my first crush shannon gill fifth grade at the little flower was that my, my kindergarten in toledo ohio um ireland connecticut i think that's where it is Pennsylvania and Chicago loves you. Yeah, by the way, I will be doing a, uh, um, I believe I am, it is confirmed I will be doing some songwriting workshops through the Old Town School of Folk. So you can look that up. It's not posted yet, but I think I'm going to do one December 13th or 14th, and then maybe do a, s a little bit more in January or February, maybe be able to do a little series. <laughs> It's a, a great place. We were supposed to play there, and we will play there. This is called Arms Open Wise. So.
know, you really have to like me for a while. And I sing you a nice song <laughs> like that. That was beautiful. Except for Thank all you. the other shit you have to put up with. Oh. Someone said, why do I not know this song? Because well, it's like new. Brand new. I'm still working here. I'm still writing. I have a, I guess I have a solo record. Yeah, that needs to come out. I mean, I was waiting for the Jayhawks, but I think that was will uh, come out in uh, January or, or not January, probably March. I hope. Um, what else is new? People are liking that nice tune. Beautiful, so lovely. Oh. I think so. I think so. I think I'm always good as my last song now. Um, Getting ready for the election? Yes. That's going to be weird to watch it from a distance. I, I remember watching, in we were Spain. in Spain when Obama won the first time, I believe. And I remember being in Europe for when Clinton won, but I don't remember. What is it? 2016, I must have been in Minneapolis. Yes, watching a lot. I've never watched so much. I used to get my friend. <laughs> John, I hope you're out there. John Jackson, the you hammer. I apologize. I never have watched so much CNN and and uh, everything. Uh, they really have I Fox here. CNN. Yeah, I mean, uh, trying to watch. I like to watch both sides just because it's fascinating. But you don't really have uh, like a conservative TV. No, we don't. Station, I guess. It's yeah. real journalism. It's no real one, journalism. No one reports right. either way. Just they the just facts. Report. Just the facts. Just the facts, Jack. Um, oh, tell, oh, somebody asked. We met in the Horseshoe Tavern. That's why there was a reference. Yeah, so we did. And I guess people are mm -hmm. kind of waiting to see how people have... Some people requested Caught with a Smile on Your Face, so I'll do that one. Mm -hmm. Um... Which is here. I know the lyrics, but again, a bit of a crutch, I should say. So, this is a song I always loved it. You know, actually, looking back at some of these songs we did on a radio day in music and smile, you know, demos, they sounded really good in our space. I mean, considering we weren't really working with the highest you know, quality gear or uh, mics and stuff, I there's a certain character that we had from some of those demos. And this was one of them. Got to deal with my wedding ring clicking now. That was an old like problem. Just it like adds a, to it. Yeah, like a percussion. Mm -hmm. So I caught with a smile on my face. This was a request. I'll try to sit up a bit more.
me on a whistle, right? We, I tried. You just haven't been. It's practice, practice, practice. You gotta put the time in. That's how you got so good on guitars all that time. You <laughs> practice. <laughs> all right. You should be on camera more than you are, but. Uh, well. Um. Thank you. I hear the applause through your. Sit. Yeah, sit next to me. So. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I hope that the person who, or peer persons who requested that, you're listening. Mm -hmm. I don't know if people out there have any favorite John Candy memories. You know, it's probably oh, the Halloween. The, kind of, the hell is so that? Early, well, somebody came earlier to sell a t-shirt, but I didn't have any Canadian money. Thank you, it's delivery. What the hell did we order? I don't know. Is it ticking? Oh, thank you. Hmm, I don't know. We just got something. Wow. Anyway, any favorite John Candy yeah, moments? Yeah, I do. Um, ooh, we got some flowers. Wow. Wow, thank you whoever sent them to us. That's exciting. Oh, thank you. I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> Everyone. Yeah, I like them. <laughs> okay, keep going. I just have to look at the speakers. Okay, I'm going to play another request. Which I've never played before, because it's uh, just because I can. This is a song that was a B-side on my. In the beginning, love Tara. Who's Tara? Well, I have a couple of Taras in my life. Uh -oh. I have three. Uh oh, I have to be more specific. You better thank them all. <laughs> well, mm. I will. That's amazing. I have a feeling it's my friend Tara Hensher, but I don't know. Very quickly. Tara from my hockey team. Oh, anyway, this was on my uh, B side for my. It was a, there's a request. I mean, it might have been a request by one person out there. I don't know. But I do get it. Get to it, to the mailbox. So this one's called "Girl in the Window." It's a song that uh, was part of my Vagabonds record, but didn't make it on there for various reasons. I can't go into. This is a little harder for me. So I'll start with it. Oh, I'm panicking. I get back on the train.
<laughs> that took a little while to get going there. You know, the best part like, of that is that Sonia's watching. Sonia? You know, I have to apologize to Sonia because I think I called you Sonia. You did for, for the first time, which you know, made me call her. A couple years. Yeah, so I'll do that again since I just panicked a little bit there. It's, kind of, it's definitely from kind of my uh, wordy English Brit folk period, which I love, you know, I love that stuff. Like, uh, you know, I was trying to figure out how to play that song, Meandering, that sound that I've forgotten. It's a Nick Drake tuning and I've forgotten how to play it, so I'll try to work on that. But... How's everybody doing hanging in there? Who said that? Friend named Tom. Tom Eaton. Tom Eaton. Well, I can share this. I'll be your key. Yeah, that's, that's on. Awesome. I'm gonna do that. Seven practice. So let's see how expecting to fly goes. And is the vocal loud enough compared to the guitar? Again, I'm working without my fancy microphones, but. So maybe some of the lyrics were a little off, but I don't know. It's cold. You're cold. You can turn it on now. I, just, I, I know. I turned nice. it off because it was blowing John Candy around. But I know. We can't have that. No. Did you? Did anybody come up with any more uh, favorite John Candy moments? Um. No, I didn't see any. Didn't da -da -da -da. Okay, I'll remember that for next week. What is that song? Oh, that's a Marilyn song. I check out now. I ripped him off there too. Eclipse 
Happy birthday, Mike. So you and John Candy share a birthday. That's cool. Yeah. Happy birthday, Mike. Um, where is that place we played in Northern England? That, oh, I'm asking you. Uh, here's the now. Oh, my time. Getting a lot of. Uh, okay. What are you getting? Somebody paid me some money and said so much good music, Kevin Eldridge. It said festival of beer or something. I don't know if that means. I don't know. Festival Someone's asking why the leaves are green, but those are cedars, so they're green all year round. Thank you, festival of beer. Uh, it's yeah, quite it's, yellowy, and we went for a really nice walk today in the park. It's yellow and red. So. Yeah. It's yeah. Still fall here. Yeah, it's 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 mind boggling to think that this is south. I'm in Canada, but I'm south of the states. And, well, you're Minnesota. You're south of Minnesota. South of Minnesota. So it's like you're a song. South of all states. No. Well, I'm not, maybe this is Mostly a good song. north of all states. We're going to do a, <laughs> some Canadian. What's that, honey? I don't know. It's I played a geography that, lesson. I may have to get the map out. You're, it's a shame that you're not off camera because you're better looking than I am. Well. <clears throat> uh, so. So, more Canadian content. Another song by Teenage Head. Woo! Check them out if you can. I love that picture of you and Krista. Where oh you were giving God, Krista that's... some vinyl <laughs> of Teenage Head. Grade 7. You weren't giving Krista Teenage Head. You were giving I was giving her some kind of fun album. The vinyl. Mm -hmm. that's, how, that's aging. Krista was giving you... A Wayne Gretzky pillow. Right? I got a Wayne Gretzky pillow because yeah. I thought I was gonna marry him in grade five. Mm -hmm. There's still time. There's still time. Um, so this is a song by Teenage Head. 
This would be on their second record, I think. Yeah, it's some kind of fun, and they. This was this was a radio hit for them. Isn't this Frantic City? Was the record it was on? Oh, maybe it was Frantic. Frantic City. But I. Uh, just learned it. So, but it's kind of their more less punky, a little bit more. It's like their ballad. They're like the love. Yeah, like the love. So you help me if you help. Actually, she's looking for work. I don't know what I'm doing now. I we'll see. I she, I'd I like sold, her to just work I for me. I will sold my house, and I'm not really working at the moment. No, she's working towards the lifestyle. I'm, a, I'm so. a lady of leisure at the moment. Yeah, well, we have a lot to do. We moved. We got married. We'll be a tennis pro one day. Mm-hmm. Golf. 
<laughs> I'd like to join the, um, I'd like to get my tour card, the LPGA Seniors Tour, maybe, mm -hmm. Ladies Seniors Tour. This is green. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Otherwise, I want her to be like, uh, I will see. She's working, working with I, I, some. Some. I used to work in music publishing many years ago. Mm -hmm. So, in the Canadian okay. music industry. Now she's a model. Supermodel. Oh. We're driven in the yeah. okay. um, What else do we have to Stripes, play? Stripes, yes. Stripes. I'm just talking about John Candy. Well, there's a bunch of movies I haven't seen. Hi from Georgetown. Hey, G-Town. G-Town. Home of the Raiders. I'm going to do another cover. It's like a lot of covers today. Every one that people kind of know, and I'll play that song for you for like Wes Wesley oh, Stays. I know. Nice. I know. Can't find a good place to put. Oh, honey, yeah. yeah. So this goes out to. I'm playing this because Jer Jerry Jeff Walker wrote this, and uh, I was a fan, and he wrote uh, many things. I saw him in 1974 when I was going to the University of Minnesota. And he played at the whole coffee house, and it was just, just incredibly great. <laughs> it was, they were just the bad boys, you know, the rebel, the outlaws, you know. Took, even though he, he came up through the Greenwich Village kind of a folk scene, he moved to Austin, Texas, and then became part of this, the outlaw country thing. Um, and I saw him, and they were all drunk and smoke and drinking and sloppy and fun and this uh, i'll never forget that show and uh so this goes out to him i had a request to do this he wrote this
Yeah, that one feels. That That's feels, in your wheelhouse. It's in my. I, I raised the key quite a bit. It's actually the original. Well, the nitty gritty dirt band version is. I think Jerry Jeffs was. Dave Arnold says nice tribute, Gary. Yes. Thank you. Uh, nitty gritty dirt band changed some of the chords. I'm so used to those chords from listening to it on the radio, but I do that version. Okay. Lovely. Everybody's loving it. Loving it. Well, loving it. This goes out to you, Steph, and it goes out to my friend Thank Wesley you. Stace. Hi, Quinn. Quinn's oh, yeah. back from work. Quinn's back from work. Oh, his mouth. Careful. Skate shark. Peek in it for a second. Yeah, see you again. Right? Yep. How's it going, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know I don't know who I'm talking to. Yeah. Right the world. Yeah. 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 The world wide web. Yeah. The yeah. yeah. coolest people on yeah. yeah. the planet, anyway. Nice. We'll shower and we'll, we're going to have. Shower. We'll make dinner in a bit. Right? Yeah, now the whole world knows. Well, you're in public. Wash the coconut off. Um, okay, so it goes out to you, and else goes out to Wes, Wesley Space, formerly known as John Wesley Harding. Uh, he asked me to do this song for something he would post. He had different people doing it's the isolation his thing. song, yeah. Yeah. And Steph always liked it. I think she liked it a little better than my material. So, so I'm gonna play this. Uh, it, go, it goes out to their, his lovely family in Mount Airy. Um, we're going to go visit them one day soon. I yes, think. The, well, their house is incredible. I mean, so I'm going to say look, Abby, who's a, a fabulous painter. Somebody will be able to afford her stuff. And uh, and their lovely kids, uh, Wynn and uh, Tilda. Okay, so it's called Kiss Me with Miss Liberty. Show me to your home. 
better the first time, but I tried. Oh, I loved it. It's funny, though. So, so, sometimes you're just in the zone. The best way to do it is just to play it and not think about, you know, how many hearts are going up. There's or a lot how many of hearts. People There's are. so many hearts. You know, I mean, I just play for myself. That's usually the best way to do and it. Me. Hmm? And you. Well, you first, and then. Did you turn the heat on? Or I did, but, yeah. Doesn't seem to be. No, I'm going to have to crank it a bit, I'm sure. Crank or? Um, and we're having someone the, says you think they, that you should end with blue for the election uh, on Tuesday. <laughs> well, let's see. I don't know how get. Which is awesome. Blue, well, I might be looking. Sometimes I can't stand up that high. But this hot water is great. You should stand up. Oh. Would you like your guitar stand? No, I can't. lessons for my ex-father-in-law, Fred Fravada, too, who's uh, excellent. Please. I thought he was going to do a little sesh with you. And yeah, with Henry and I, just to teach me. My problem is my voice is so high, normally, anyway, singing, that my brain doesn't always want to go to a falsetto like it should. Hi, Finland. Hello, Finland. We're almost uh, wrapping it up here. Dinner. Yeah. That's what we could do. We could get dinner ideas going because I get bored, but we're having smoked yeah. salmon, fresh pasta, and a cream white wine sauce tonight. A touch of tarragon and <laughs> an amazing little amazing uh, Sauvignon little. Yeah. Blanc. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think I want red wine. I'm going to open a bottle of red wine. You can open a bottle of red wine. Okay. Soon. Well, I think, you know, um, we are going to change our format eventually. I think we'll have a little 
cooking segment on the show. Yeah. Cooking with stuff. Any ideas? We're going to get my son Henry to do a little painting segment. Maybe uh, Liam and Quinn can do like a hockey, skills. Skills. So, yeah. Maybe yeah. we'll set the net up and yeah. just do some shots outside. Mm -hmm. Try some shots. Practice. So, so for you, that would be hockey. Yeah. That's Doing some shots would have been, uh, to me, would have been like bird Drinking? Yeah. Or shooting baskets or something like that. Uh, so, yeah, so we're going to sign off. Uh, maybe I'll finish with uh, something. Uh, like what? I don't even know. I feel like I want to. One, one more, more, please. One, one more. more. Sign. There's still, there's still people see. showing yeah. up. Sure. Uh, oh, two people just left. Mm -hmm. Oh, three more people left. So maybe I won't. So, oh, ruffled cauliflower and chickpea casserole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. I think we could do Any that. last minute request before I sign I'm just up? Looking. Uh, pork chops, mashed potatoes, pork chops, and apple sauce. Pork chops and apple sauce. Apple sauce. That was just on a Brady Bunch. That's right. Incredible, incredible <laughs> episode. Gary and I watched the Brady Bunch at yeah. 5:30. First, we watched. You know. We love it. I'm not yeah. ashamed. To no. Say it. I love yeah. the Bradys. The Brady's, a very Brady Christmas. Very Brady this Christmas. is kind of like a Brady bunch. It will be when Henry gets here. Henry's here. Okay, so. Uh, okay, we'll finish with uh, I don't know, we put moldy, moldy, oldie. Let's save some of these other ones for. Let's see if there's. I run away. See, I wish I had my harp for this one.
Dave Arnold. Trump's going down, baby, baby. <laughs> I hope so. I hope All right, everyone. If you haven't voted, vote. Get out there. Don't wait till the last minute. And uh, if you're trick-or-treating, be safe. Be we safe. love you, right? We love you, and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.